What's up, guys? Mm. Good morning. Today we gonna try to fix a TV. It's a Sony um, old school TV. It's a Sony. I will tell you now, guys. Sony Bravia 32 inch TV. The model number of this TV is uh, KLV 32VX300. Um, this TV has no light, uh, no nothing, no response from the TV. Um, I did check we, uh, with a couple of things with this TV. Um, as you guys can see, this connector is the output connector going to the, hold on, hold on, there is two output. This, this is going to the, um, it was like this, so I think this connector is going to the backlit circuit and this one is going to the motherboard the logic board of the tv yes regulator 12 volt ground yes this is the one that goes to the backlight there is also another board for the backlight. <coughs> this is a proper TV. Um, I will show you guys if I can fix this. Then I will I will put this board on the TV and then I will try to show you guys how does the 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 TV setup looks like. It's not like this cheap uh, Chinese TV where everything come in one small board. This TV has one, two, three, four separate board, one power supply, one logic board, one backlight circuit, and then one board is for the control panel. So it's a proper nice TV. Um, I don't know if we can buy those type of TVs anymore. Anyway, the problem with this uh, TV is no power. Now... I did check on this connector there was no voltage means definitely it's it's a power supply issue I'm going to double check or recheck again with you guys see if there is anything comes out okay uh, let me get the power cord and then we will check together what happens to the voltage okay okay before I power it on guys i want to check some of the diodes and some of the fuse all right let me rather remove first before i put power in i didn't put this power switch on yet on the multi-plug the fuse let's check the fuse zero so the this fuse is good um is there more fuses i don't see i don't see i don't know what is this black ones i i i don't know if they are relays or some sort of he's saying 310 volt 22 0.22 microfarad so x2 afc 47 4k let me have a look what is that component but i checked a lot of videos regarding this fault the dead uh, sony brevia tv the most common fault are the diodes 
diodes, 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 diodes. There must be some diodes. Yeah, there must be some diodes like this ones. This is a diodes. I don't think you can see. Yeah, there's one. Uh, normally those diodes, they get bad. There is one. Uh, there should be, probably, <clears throat> we might have, there's one diode, there's two diode. <clears throat> On the other, other model, they, they have three diodes on parallel mode and normally this type of uh, old TV the three diode carries 5 amp each so it's 15 amp they carry to to carry more amperage so normally those diodes gets bad I will check just now but I just want to see what is this component AFC 474K AFC 47 one minute Capacitor <coughs> They are capacitor guys according to forty Yeah, it's saying it's capacitor Okay, they are this type of capacitor nearly with the plastic casing film capacitor sponsor I don't want to sponsor oh seven four K yeah those are capacitors all of this are capacitors so we can check for short if even though i don't think there is i don't think those capacitors are bad but let's check the capacitors first meter in sorry the diodes first No reading. Should it be like that? It's on diode mode. Point four four nine voltage drop. Okay. No reading on the other ways. We only getting so this diode is good. It's no short. Even on the beeping mode, oh well, oh well, no short. So this diode is good. This one's, oh well, oh well, in diode mode, no reading. 0.533, right, that one good. 0.210. Other way, now that's strange, still charging, in continuity mode, it's not supposed to have a reading there. That's what I know. Oh well. Six one six. Oh. Oh well. So I don't know if I'm checking it right. This diode. Let me show you guys. This one. Six one 
616 17 ohms if we change it then it goes to oval mode and in diode mode point two ten voltage drop it is not supposed to be reading but I don't know why is it having a reading so we must check on this diode what is this diode is doing okay oh there is two more let's have a look oh well you see one way is oh well the other way is 0.494 Point four nine four, similar like this one. So I'm guessing these two diodes are parallel. So my problem, my my question is: is this diode is good? This one, right? Because it's not supposed to read like that. Anyway, <coughs> let's see where. How far the, the electricity, the, the voltage we are getting, okay? Guys, remember one thing. This is, we are playing this side of the circuit, of the board, from here. You guys can see there is a mark, this line, this whole line. This side is the primary or the live side, hot side. There is different name people call, hot, red. Uh, primary or live side is this here is high voltage area you can get a serious electric shock and this side is the secondary side or the coal side uh, where um, <coughs> all the output voltage 5 volt 3.3 volt i think they have 12 volt let's have a look 12 volt 2 volt, even 2 volt, 3.3 volt, yeah, Th this is the cold side where um, all the voltages is going out to different uh, section of the TV, okay, um, we gonna have a look, let's switch it on, first, how much AC we have, oh, you know what, I was, I forgot to check the rectifier bridge, that's one more thing, but anyway that if our capacitor has voltage, then I think rectifier should be good. First things, let's see if we have 220, okay, remember, working with 220 volt to up to 440 volt, so be very careful meter is on AC mode we have 230 volt on the connector and then fuse the fuse was here we check the fuse the fuse was oh sorry on the yeah the fuse is good it's getting to 30 volt right now on the DC multimeter on the DC we're gonna check this capacitor if the capacitor having it's a 450 volt capacitor plus is here we have 300 volt so the capacitor the voltage is there present till this capacitor okay now from here what did I check? What did I check? What did I check? On the MOSFETs should have high voltage. The drain of the this MOSFETs. One, two, three MOSFETs. So let's let's make a make it like this. Minus these are the MOSFET, 1, 2, 3, check, check there, 318 volt, my capacitor has 317 volts, so it's going there, what about this one, 
this MOSFET don't have any voltage. This one has 318 volt. So, I have 318 here. I have 318 here. Okay. But there is no voltage here. Ground, that is ground, ground, drain. The drain should have, hold on. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's put it off. <clears throat> this MOSFET here, the drain voltage is 300, okay, 318. So this voltage, I, what I, my understanding is this voltage must come here to the source. Yes. So this source will carry that 318 volt to the drain and so on to this. So either... Let's check what voltage we get on the gate. It's, they say somewhere around 3 or 6 volt the gate should be. Gate has no voltage. Gate has no voltage. Here is 318. Here is nothing. Here is nothing. It did not check also one thing. What is the voltage? There is no voltage on the output. Definitely. Nothing. So the volt, this side of the, cold side of the board has no voltage okay guys i've been poking around with this board right um i want to show you guys something that i found let's put the multimeter on continuity change my okay that should be good let's zoom in little Right, let's have a look together. You see this transformer, one, two, three transformer. We're gonna check the coils on those transformer, right? Let us look together, okay? Right, the big coil, check. There should be a continuity sound. As you can see, zero ohms on the multimeter and it's buzzing, right? And then this one and this one also should be buzzing, zero ohms and that one too, right? So that transformer, all the coils is good. Now on this one, let's have a look. This one is good and then this three pins they are also part of the coil hello i'm coming so this is also good there is a continuity but now look at this one nothing nothing no beeping nothing there okay hold on let's have a look on this Sorry. Have a look on that. That is definitely water damage on that section of the, you can see, green stuff. And look at this wire. This is what I find out, hello, that this wire was 
disconnected it's it's definitely did not burn it there is no sign of burn so my guess is <clears throat> the water damage which is also here let me show you guys have a look at that i believe those are diodes those are diodes definitely there I don't know I think it's water damage cause it's whitish so it can be maybe from the factory there was some um, thermal paste but I got a feeling that it was or it is water damage or water was there but no other sign around that section on those diodes or around those diodes. It's only there on that second diode. I see some white stuff. But I my guess is probably is the thermal paste. Hold on. You can see there is a sign of water damage. Um I will try to clean it with a brush, but I'm not going to take out that transformer. Okay, let's apply unleaded or leaded sort of leaded solder yeah <clears throat> this factory shoulders they are very hard to to remove or work with so we are going to mix with the unleaded or leaded solder sorry I'm glad that I took it off. It was not very difficult in a way. I was a little bit afraid that I would have damaged the board. Let's show you guys under the microscope how does this one looks. <coughs> And you guys see doesn't look good now I have to see if this pin is okay can you guys see can you believe it <laughs> look at it there is the problem it did burn, it burned on this side.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> As you can see, I did put the transformer back in its place. It wasn't a difficult job for me. Um, yeah. We will first check with the multimeter if there is any short or if diode readings and stuff are good. One more time, okay? Double check. I believe these are the MOSFETs. One, two, three here. Rectifier bridge and diodes. One, two, three diodes. As we checked before those other diodes also, they are good, no short, no short, or diode is good, alright, let's check this three, they should, that's good, they are good, they are good. Opposite. O L. O L. O L. O L. Those are the diodes. Should be O L. Should be O L. Okay, then those diodes are good. Now let's check this MOSFETs if they short. Um, probably N channel MOSFETs. There's the source not connected. Not short, no short, no short. Opposite way. Okay. Those di uh, MOSFETs are also good. I don't see any um, problem short wise. They, I don't see any shortage. Let's plug in and see if we have voltage here. Here should be 3.3 .3 volts. When I first uh, test the, this board, I did not have any, any voltage here. Okay. Our first problem is the 3.3 .3 volt, which is a standby, standby voltage, standby voltage. It must be there for this board to work. So let's have a look if we have 3.3 .3 volt on that connector, the standby voltage, okay? <laughs> hello, Zan. Say hello to YouTube viewer. Hello. <laughs> um, ni namaste ni good morning, even though it's night time. Guys, can you guys see the red light? Look at my mouse cursor. The red light is on. Okay, you can power it on. There comes the green light on. <laughs> we have picture. Um, you can use the menu button just to see if it's working. Any button, doesn't matter. Makisaki. You guys can see it's working fine there you go um, I'm really happy that uh, this TV came right okay so the problem was you can put it off the TV you can sit up the problem was that transformers um, which was burned off the TV is fixed I'm happy uh, I'll put back the TV 
and then hopefully they come and take it um <clears throat> as usual uh like and subscribe my channel right. and um i'll end this video now so see you in the next next video okay goodbye